Here we are down at Chaplin's restaurant here, Daddy Jack's cooking with the blues. And uh, we're gonna show you it's a special treat today. I'm gonna show you my secret crab cake recipe. So Bob Jacko here, Bob Jacko Productions. I, I, I got a little jump start on the recipe here. So here's what I have, a little blackened seasoning on top. I sauteed onions, yellow, orange, and a little bit of red bell pepper. Some sweet yellow onions, Vidalia onions. And just a little bit of whole butter, not too much. Just till they get soft. And I also put some diced fennel. You see the you know, little bits of the end to end, top to bottom on the fennel. It's all good. And I just uh, cooked it down. So now it's nice and soft and tender. So, uh, so then put it in the bowl. Okay. And then I've got some claw meat. If I can get fresh, I, I use fresh, but it's kind of hard to get out of season now. So I've got the claw meat. And I make, uh, got two cans of claw meat. If I can get some of that Texas Gulf Coast lobster crab meat, or, uh, but now with the, uh, the leak down there, you're not, not getting that fresh crab meat like we used to. And uh, put some mayonnaise, almonds, nothing but the best. But do you grab me that uh, Dijon? I got it right there, I think. Okay, some mayonnaise. Okay, then I put in. Some breadcrumbs, probably half a cup of breadcrumbs. Two nice good uh, spoons of the Roland Dijon mustard. I mix it all in at one time so I don't I don't have to keep adding the mayonnaise and mix it and then you add the breadcrumbs and uh, you end up over mixing and breaking up all the pieces. Uh, they got a good handful of chopped green onions. And I'll put a little bit more blackened seasoning into it. A little, just a little bit more blackened seasoning. Okay. So then I just mix it, kind of distribute it over the top first. All right? Let's kind of get it mixed. See, a lot of times I like to wait, you know, for the uh, the pepper mixture, onions and pepper mixture to cool. So sometimes it, it, it kind of breaks the mayonnaise down a little bit, makes it a little bit oily. But okay, I'm gonna add a little bit more. Uh, Doing a big batch. It's Thursday. We're doing enough crab cakes for the weekend, or for at least get us through Saturday night. A little bit more. Still, the crab to Crab ratio, not a whole lot of filler, just a little breadcrumb to bind it, bind everything together. People ask me, they say, man, you have really good crab cakes. What's the secret? I said, well, we got a secret recipe, old family recipe. We actually put, we, we put crab meat in it, so they get a kick out of it. But here's nice because you got got pieces of the lump with the claw. I have a real good chef friend of mine, uh, Carlo Galazzo, and uh, he had a recipe we did. He came to Texas one time and did a guest chef appearance, 
He's out in Bodega Bay, Northern California, and we're making Dungeness crab cakes. And he actually took the crust off sliced white bread and fine diced the white bread and mixed it in. And once that got mixed into the cake, you couldn't tell the difference between that bread, once it soaked up the, the, the flavor of the mix, you couldn't tell the, distinguish the white bread from the crab meat. It was incredible. Really good. Okay, now we're going to form the cakes. Put a little bit of crumb on the bottom. Kind of make pat like cakes out of them. Probably about three, about four ounce, about four ounce cakes. Nice and loose, you know, and then before they go, before they go into the skillet, we'll show you, we dip them in flour and into a heated skillet, brown them on one side, turn them over, and we'll pop them in the oven. Now we're going to do a crab cake. Give me a butter there, Josh. Well, we don't want the skillet that hot right there, so we'll shut it off, put it in there. Okay, flip it over, it goes right in the oven. Okay, crab cake, nice and golden brown, cooked all the way through. Okay, that's it, loaded with crab meat. A little tartar sauce, sweet relish, and mayonnaise, that's it.